Well, Great Falls Fire Rescue officials uh, say repairs are taking longer than expected on station number four in Fox Farm. The main project began in January to replace aging sewer and plumbing lines, but after digging further, officials found more damage. MTN's Keely Van Mittendorp has an update. Great Falls Fire Rescue officials originally broke ground on much needed sewer line repairs at Station 4 in January, but since then officials have uncovered more concerns. Never thought we'd get to this point where we ran into so many different obstacles. Jones said the price tag for the added repairs is more than the department can afford this year. So 200000 over and above what we'd already spent. The need for more funding has delayed the project as GFFR works with city officials to include extra funding in the upcoming budget year. And we've been working through the budgeting process and with the others to try to um, get a remedy for it. They're now in the process of getting bids for the additional repairs. Hopefully that'll commence sometime this week that we'll get those and be able to get the project back underway. Officials are also having to install handicap accessible bathroom doors and stalls, something that wasn't in the original plan. Instead of preventative maintenance, now we're into remodel, so then we have to meet the ADA guidelines. Jones says crews are working out of Station 1 here located off 9th Street South, and while everybody is stepping up to answer calls, he does say response times are being affected. You know, it's an extra four to six minutes, depending on traffic and depending on congestion. As construction begins at the Fox Farm intersection, residents will see GFFR stationed in the area during busier hours. Staying in that part of the city, just the guys in their apparatus to be able to respond because uh, congestion is a concern. Reporting in Great Falls, Keely Van Mittendorp, MTN News. The Great Falls City Commissioners will discuss the additional fire department funding tomorrow night. Repairs at Station 1 and 2 are on hold until officials can re uh, reopen Station 4.